If it bleeds, we can kill it. I ain't got time to bleed. Get to the chopper! Knock, knock. You are one ugly motherfucker. You son of a bitch. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Huh? What's going on friends? Logo Myers here for Cinefells.com. We're still doing 31 Days of Horror. Um, recently they released the new Shane Black film, The Predator, but tonight I want to talk about the OG, the original gangster of the franchise, the 1987 Predator flick directed by John McTiernan, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jesse Ventura, Carl Weathers, a bunch of big ass, bulky dudes. This is an action flick, balls to the wall, full of testosterone. This is what the 80s did. They they created a lot of over-the-top action films, and this one is definitely my favorite in the franchise. So let's talk about it. What I love about 80s flicks, especially Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, this dude was jacked. He was a big fucking guy back then, worked out all the time, and just over-the-top action flicks, you know, Terminator. But, you know, the first Predator flick is definitely my, one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, him playing the character of Dutch. But John McTiernan was no stranger to the action genre. He was the go-to director back in the day. Back in the 80s, the original Die Hard, he did Predator. And one of my favorite movies um, as a kid in the 90s, he did Last Action Hero, again with Arnold. Fantastic movie. But tonight I want to talk about Mc McTiernan's magnum opus. I'm talking about Predator. The setup of Predator, we have Dutch, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He, uh, they set off into Central America, into the jungle. They're on a rescue mission, uh, trying to find some hostages, coming across people. So he brings his ragtag team of misfits along with him to help him out in this mission. Carl Weathers is there and him and Dutch meet up and they do this over the top like 80s homoerotic like handshake kind of thing. And they like zoom in and the muscles are all 24 inch pythons. And just over the top, I love it. But that's really the beginning and the setup of the film there in the jungle. So we get introduced to the other characters of the film, Shane Black being Hawkins which is awesome you know he was in the first film and then he directed the new one so it's really cool that he was in the original flick he had some really great uh sex jokes in this movie there's a lot of great one-liners uh you have Je jesse the body ventura the sexual tyrannosaurus uh, carl weathers and a, a bunch of really big dudes in this film and that's the setup as they're on this mission in the jungle they're noticing some odd things going on around them people start dying off uh, finding bodies like in the trees there's no skin on the bodies and it's just very odd and they're wondering like you know is it people that are on the land that are doing all this or what is going on so essentially it sets up the predator it's like a chameleon really cool effects back in the 80s you know it kind of blends in with the trees very top-notch effects back in 1987 but it, it's still pretty cool if you watch it now alien predator creature is targeting this group of soldiers and one by one the predators killing them off in really great ways what's absolutely fantastic about this movie is like i said it's an action flick it's over the top there's so many like gunshots and mcturna had a great way of using the camera to build this claustrophobic feeling like you're in the jungle with these dudes like it's just you in the jungle and trying to watch your back because you don't know what's out there he did an excellent job of the way of directing this film and originally this movie was going a different route with the predator john claude van damme played the predator and it looked like a creature from like um, the Land Before Time, it just looked really terrible. It was not scary, so they kind of axed that idea. They went with Stan Winston that brought in the creature that we all know and love today that's in the final product of the movie. You know, with the helmet, he had like the dreads and just really ugly and just awesome, awesome practical effects. So I'm glad they brought Stan Winston, you know, the master of practical effects. But overall, the first Predator flick is a movie you must watch if you're a fan of, you know, action or the 80s and things like that. Um, you will definitely love this. This is one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's best performances as Dutch, a great cast and ensemble of these big, bulky, testosterone-driven dudes, um, seeing a young Jesse Ventura, a young Shane Black. Um, re really great cast in this movie. Carl Weathers, another fantastic actor. He was massive in this movie, but he was also great. So it's a movie, if you have not seen, you should definitely check out. It's one of the classics from back in the day. And it's a movie you must watch around the Halloween season. It just has that great feel. And I uh, absolutely love it in October. So, so hopefully you guys love this movie as much as I did. I'm going to give John McTiernan's Predator from 1987 a four and a half out of five Predator hair pieces. <laughs> so if you guys have seen the Predator, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite one-liner for the movie? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit 
subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from the jungle. Get down! Get down again! Until next time, cheese! Uh -huh.